Hi, Iran here. Welcome to this episode of the Proteopedia Video Guide. In this episode, I'll show you how to perform basic searches in Proteopedia. On the left toolbar, you'll notice two search boxes. The first is a standard Proteopedia search box that works in a way similar to Wikipedia's search box. The second is a custom Google search box that searches the Proteopedia website using the Google algorithm for page ranking. Why do we have two search boxes? Well, we want to make sure that you can find what you're looking for. And we'd also like to give you the option to choose how you search. Let's say that we want to search for hemoglobin. I always use the Proteopedia search, so let's use that. As I begin typing hemoglobin, you'll see that a number of pages are suggested for me. These are existing pages and if I click on any of them I'll be transported directly to that page. If I continue typing hemoglobin I can now press on either go or on search. If I press on go I'll be taken directly to a page by the name of hemoglobin which is what I entered. If I made a mistake and let's say entered hemoglob and I hit go, a page by that name doesn't exist, and so I'll be told that fact. There is no page titled hemoglob, and also I'll be offered the opportunity to create this page. Incidentally, this is one of the ways in which we can create new pages. Searching for them using go, finding they do not exist, and then clicking on create this page. Let's say instead of using go, which takes you directly to the page by that name, I pushed on search. What search does is it looks for the word that we entered in the page text or the article title of all the pages in Proteopedia. So here we see the results. Here are the pages whose article title matches the word we entered, hemoglobin. And further down we have some page text matches. For additional help on searching we can click on this help link. And then we read, for searching help, try help searching. And here we have some additional help for searching. 